Hi, my name is Michaela Key and welcome to Bellarmine Broadcasting. Today I have two special stories and a very special guest. The first story is about the Bellarmine cheer team and how they made it third place overall in the nation at nationals. That's the furthest Bellarmine's cheer team has ever made it. Here's a look. This year, Bellarmine cheer traveled to Daytona Beach, Florida to compete at nationals and brought home a third place trophy. When asked how they felt, there was nothing but positivity. Third place honestly feels like first, just because of all the adversity that we've had to overcome in the season. Um, third place, you can only go up, and I feel like second place, you would beat yourself up too much because you would always think about what if I did this or what if this happened. So third place is like a good medium. This is the first time in Bellarmine's history that a cheer team has gotten third place, and they plan to keep the same energy for the years to come. It's honestly a really great feeling it to be the first team. It just really sets the standards for next year and the years to come. And it feels really great to be a part of such a growing and exciting program that is a great future. Third place is awesome, like top three in the nation. We've never done that before, so I'm proud of third. I'm really proud of third. I asked the team how they could improve for next year and their goals, and they had great feedback. I want to win first place. I want to ring. I think I think we need to start working earlier, and then you know work together more. Everybody come in the gym without being like without having to. And I I think we can get first. I want to ring. For the team next year, I definitely see us placing second or probably first. Honestly, with the talent coming in, the talent that we're keeping, it really shouldn't be that hard of a feat. My goal for next year would be to hit harder stunts. I think our whole team could hit harder stunts and then we can get first. My hopes for the team next year are to definitely make it to finals again, go straight to finals and hopefully bring home rings. Personally, I think I could have done a little bit better on the map, but overall I think as a team we really completed our goal and did top three and so we came to do and we did it. I want to pass down the knowledge of learning the value of your teammates and I really want to teach the incoming freshmen and just any incoming other classes that you can't do this without your teammates and that each person has their own experience level and has something to bring to the table so I really want to teach the um, first years just to value each other and learn from each other and work together to accomplish one goal. Congrats to the Bellarmine Shoe team on their success. Can't wait to see what they have in store next year. This next story is about an organization who got to travel for a statewide conference. They learned a lot. Here's a little more about it. This April, Bellarmine's Black Student Union had the opportunity to attend the Kentucky Black Student Union Conference. I asked the exec board their thoughts. I heard about the conference because I was a part of the conference and uh, I was part of setting it up and getting it together. Uh, the thing I enjoyed about the conference the most was definitely going with my friends and like the fellow e board to it and getting a bond with them a little bit more and just learning about all the different BSUs around Kentucky and the role that they're trying to play in making their campuses more inclusive for all students. My favorite part was honestly just uh, even though it was smaller, just being able to be around other black students specifically from Kentucky. That was pretty cool. Oh also like the sessions, like the mass incarceration sessions. This was the first ever Kentucky Black Student Union Conference, and because of Bellarmine's BSU role in setting up the conference, it was a good learning experience. I learned that uh, communication is key when it comes to planning things, and I learned a lot about Pan-Africanism, which was uh, actually really interesting, and I learned that I knew very little about African history. Um, well, I learned a lot of different things. Uh, I'd say. The most I probably learned from was the graduate panel that they had, uh, which was just a panel of graduate students who were talking about the opportunities that they had uh, after college to go further at their education and um, kind of like the challenges that they faced and what motivated them to get through those challenges. My 
main takeaway was that we should be more connected with black students in Kentucky. Uh, this first round was more of like a trial round. Um, so it was a lot of learning going from that, but I don't know, hopefully next year and the year after that are gonna be really strong and then kick it off and it'll be like a really cool annual conference. I would change the location, I would change speakers, um, I would make sure that there would be different topics that a lot of people don't talk about. So like something like Pan-Africanism I think was really good. And then other things that maybe people wouldn't know a lot about. Um, and I would want to change like the amount of people who are actually there. So I want to be a lot more people there. Hopefully in the future, we will see more activity from this conference. Congratulations to the Black Student Union for their opportunity to attend. Last but not least, I'm joined by Taylor Hunter, who's on the basketball team. She's currently a sophomore, and this year she decided to redshirt. So, hi Taylor, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Um, I'm just going to ask you a few questions about this year and what okay. your plans are for next year. So, why did you redshirt this year? Um, I redshirted this year because I tore my labrum in July, and I had surgery in August on my right shoulder and um, they told me it'd be a six to eight month recovery and that there isn't a chance of me playing at all this year. So how did you tear your leg? Um, I was working out and uh, I landed on a medicine ball with my arm stretched over it. And um, once that happened, all of my weight went down to the floor, but my arm stayed here and my shoulder dislocated. Oh dang, so hopefully you're recovered, right? Yes, that's <laughs> okay. the plan, that's where I'm getting so, at. So what are your plans for next year when you finally return to the court? Um, my plans uh, when I return is just to be a better defender, have a better basketball IQ, just you know to um, have a better shot and be an overall better teammate. How do you plan to prepare this summer for the upcoming season? Um, this summer I'll actually be in Kentucky and um, I'll be working out every day. I'll be playing basketball shooting, just in the gym, running, anything I can to, you know, just get back in basketball shape and, you know, be back to where I was. What are your goals from improvement from your freshman year to this, your junior year coming up? Um, freshman year, um, I just came from high school, so the way the game is played is completely different. It's a lot faster in college, so now that I know that, it's um, definitely just, you know, get faster, have better stamina, just a better basketball IQ, just grow more as a player. What are your plans for after, like, w the rest of your college career, basically? I mean, for the rest of my career, you know, just to continue to grow as a player and as a person, you know, just become a better teammate. And as I get a more leadership role on the team, just, you know, continue to um, be better and help any other, anybody on my team, you know, just become a better team player, you know, just help any way I can. Okay. And lastly, are you excited to return? Yes, I feel like a kid on Christmas. I'm so <laughs> excited. You know, it's just everybody who plays a sport knows what it's like to sit on the sideline and watch your team play. Everybody knows it's terrible to just sit there and watch. So I'm so excited to be back and just, you know, be a part of the team again, you know, just practicing, traveling, the game, and just everything. I'm so excited. Okay. Thank you, Taylor. No problem. This has been Bellarmine Sport Broadcasting. This is Michaela Key and Taylor Hunter signing off.